what's going on guys I'm here with two unboxings so let's go ahead and get this started I'm not gonna obviously unbox these in a, the right location because they're kind of big so let's just go ahead and get started um, one of them I purchased the other one I talked to the sellers of the product and they agreed to send me one to just review and I send it back, you know? So that's what I'm going to do. So let's go ahead and get this opened up. And I also talked to Holystone. So I will be doing of uh, their products in the future. Hopefully. Uh, I talked to someone in charge and they said that there's a way for me to send products to me. So I just gotta go through the process see you guys could already see what it is I, I already told you guys to go with that part okay so let's get this guy out of here all right well it looks like it's been kind of open a little bit but shouldn't be no big deal Go ahead and put that right there. All right. Let you guys take a quick look at this box. Not really much going on here. Kind of heavy too. Oh wow, that one looks pretty cool. 86. Body looks a little unlicensed all right so get this way one tenth scale card uh does it say anything else on it no i don't think so i don't see anything else it just says 2.4 let's go ahead and open this it's got these big old circle stickers Okay, so put that right there. Decent manual, crappy wrench, looks like some wheel spacers, a manual for your transmitter, and some more uh, buyables, collectibles that give you a lot of stickers so you can really dress that car up. And they give you some rubber tires. Let's take, well, I don't want to open this one yet, but they give you some nice rubber tires here. Here's our transmitter. Let's see if I can get this out without being a madman about it. Okay. This transmitter kind of reminds me of the, well, it's, that's a lot of settings. Kind of reminds me of the Axial, doesn't it? A little bit? Kind of. It's all right, I guess. I don't really care for it too much, but it's not as ugly as it could be. It could be a whole lot uglier. And uh, we got quite a few settings in there, too. Look at that. Okay, so charger. So this already lets me know that it's a weak, very weak battery inside there. So let's open up this. All right, let's go and take this off too. 
Oh, wow, look at that, guys. That is sweet. That is pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and take this off. Alright. Put that right there. Because I might just put that back on. Because I don't think this is the one I'm keeping. Put it down a little bit. Let you guys check this transmitter out again. It even has a spot for a lanyard. Alright, so let's go ahead and take these pins out. They actually gave you good pins too. They don't feel all horrible. Alright. Wow, that body's actually pretty good. Feels pretty good. Okay, I'm going to just leave the clips there. And here it is, guys. A really nice looking RC car, drift car. Feels pretty good in the hand. Oh wow, they changed out this to a miniature style one. See that? That was never like that in any of the unboxings I've seen. Feels good. It's got uh, oil shocks that actually feel pretty good. Wow, I didn't expect them to feel that good. You know how these, these shocks here tend to feel like crap <laughs> but they actually feel pretty good not too bad let's take a look at this battery turn this this way take out one more clip and we get a nickel metal hydrate battery 2000 ma so we'll put that we'll just put it right back in there you know i not make a mess was this is it this way all right and if you're going to use a lipo on this you can you just got to unscrew these two little pieces off that hold this battery so easily you could just unscrew those off right there there's a screw right there you just unscrew those off and you can use your lipo on it instead of this boring no hydrate and they give you a 540 motor, 60 amp ESC, or 45 amp. I'm not too sure. I have to go and look through it, but it feels great. This actually feels really good. This feels really good. Heavy, nice and heavy. And that's pretty much, that's pretty much it with the brush. Hopefully that is a brushless one over there. I'm hoping. Because that's the one I really ordered. So let's go ahead and put that one over here. And I'm really hoping that it's the brushless one. I'm really, really hoping that I didn't make a mistake. Alright. Because I really wanted that brushless edition one. I was going to buy it um, normally just like like this and upgrade it myself but then after looking at how much the upgrade would cost it's cheaper to just buy it already brushless all right all right put this in here like this okay let's go ahead and take things off Okay, I cut those things off. All right. Kind of warm today, you know that? So I'm gonna put these tires over here. Right over there. All right, so everything's pretty much the same. Almost, guys, almost. Yes, thank God they didn't screw up. Okay, so here is our manual, this is what you get. Some spacers. I do not see any wrench. Two stickers, two sets of stickers, just like the other one. Two sets, all right. Charger, which is better. 
So this lets me know this is this is the one I ordered. This one's mine. That is the one that they told me that I could go ahead and review. So this is the one I purchased for two hundred and sixty nine dollars. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open this part up. And this tape is on here. And I don't think I can take that off. The tape is a very, very goodly on there. All right, got it open without tearing open the bag. All right, this is much better, much better. I love, I already like it. Just like the Red Cat, real simple. But yet good foam wheel four double A's much better channel threes right there you turn off and on right here this is much better I like this one a little better compared to the simple fly sky one so let's go ahead and Check out the car. So let's go ahead and look at this battery charger real quick. So it charges up 2 and 3S. And this is a pretty good charger. It's got like that transparent plastic on it. So you could see through it. I can see through it. I know you guys can't see through it. But you could. Which looks pretty cool. You got your power port there and then you got your 3s and 2s battery connections there and that's a really good charger guys it's not going to do wonders but it will work good It'll give you a decent a decent um, charger so let's go ahead and take this little guy out put that right there drop this back down again yeah this is the one i ordered i can tell by the rims already okay Alright, let me go ahead and get this off. Come on. Okay. Alright, look at that guys. That thing just looks sweet. I'm I'm already happy. I just don't know which body I should keep. Wow, that is just nice. That is absolutely nice. This is the one I ordered, guys. This one. Um, let me go ahead and pull these off. There it is, guys. Check that out. That is sweet. Oh, yeah. I love it already. Let's go ahead and take this off. Check that out, guys. Look at that. So, this one's $269. Taxes is going to come out to $170. So it's going to be kind of pricey, maybe more than that. And then we got the brushed edition, which is the other one. Let's take a quick look at this real quick. So you see it comes with a LiPo battery. Let's check to see what kind of LiPo battery that is. So this is the one that I am that I purchased. And you see it's even it even comes with, the, with some foams. Wow, that thing just came flying at me. It came with some foams too. So that way I can put bigger batteries in here if needed. I like that. How did this go like this? All right, so here's our battery. 30C value, wow. We had a 30C value battery. Not bad. I have tons of these batteries, so it's not a big deal. It's just getting this on is kind of tricky a little bit. Oh, there we go. No, not tricky at all. 
Man, this camera does not like to focus properly at all. So there goes our brushless system there. See it? And I, I'm telling you guys, I was just going to buy it brushed and put the brushless motor in it myself. But it costs too much money. It's coming up to like $150 because everything went up in price because of this whole inflation garbage. The, when I went to go look for the motor, I would have to put something crappy in there. Just, I'm not doing that. So, um, I'd rather just, this way it goes. Man, this looks really good, guys. Really good. So, I'd rather just purchase it with the actual uh, brushless motor already. So, that, that way I don't have to worry about putting in anything on it but you guys can see even that brushed edition is really really nice they switched up a few things on it um you guys could see that this is the normal transmitter i mean receiver and they like changed it up on the brush because i've seen these cars back in the day you get a little bit more with the brushed so you pay 200 bucks for the brush don't pick it up by the bumper guys because it's too heavy um, you get your motor and your little tiny ESC, which looks like a three channel. And you get these rims too, these tires guys. So you guys can use them. Mine didn't come with tires, so I need to buy some. I'm going to buy some just like that. So it's not a big deal. Not bad guys. Not a bad car at all. Just really, really nice looking. I wish I had some batteries around here somewhere so I can start one of them up. And these are all, um, I'm not sure. Yeah, these are too. These are, um, all of these things come with uh, metal gears. So the both of them come fully metal geared. This one's metal geared, but just ready for uh, an upgrade to brushless. You can hear it. Yeah, this one's a lot more metal. I could hear it. So I need to bind these up and we'll try them out. We'll try out this one at least. See what's going on with it. I'm really interested. I really don't care about that brushed one. I really, really care about this brushless one. So, but that was nice of them to send that in. I think we can do a little, you know, I don't want to take it out guys and destroy it, you know? So I don't want to do that. If they were nice enough to do that, I don't want to do that. So. I'll probably just run it really fast here in the apartment and then we'll we'll get on to this one because this is where it's really gonna be at. This is where all your fun is at in this brushless edition, guys. But not that that brush edition is crap because brush lives do matter and uh, they are awesome. Let me put this back on over here. This thing flew off earlier. And that is a tight fit. Man, I can't even get that on there. That is a really, really tight fit. Now it went in upside down. I can't get this thing on here. Alright guys. Well I got that battery back in there and everything guys. But when I try to, to uh, connect it. It needs to be. Uh... Yeah see. Nothing. It needs to be. Uh... Bind it to it. So I need to go through the damn book and read it. Which sucks. I don't want to do that. But I don't have another choice. So I have to go through the manual, guys, to check it out. So that's pretty much the end of this one, guys. Yeah, I got to go through it, check it out. I'll figure out how to bind this up. And uh, we'll be back with the test run on both of them. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. And stay tuned for the next uh, two test runs. Thanks a lot.